Welcome back to the baby. Welcome back to the basement yard. Frank, how's it going? Uh, <laughs> yeah. He's smoking a pretzel stick as if it's a cigar. Because uh, what else are you supposed to do? I got to tell you. Damn, that was like a I, snarl, a snart, a snart. I don't know what a snart is. Oh, yeah, I don't think that's a thing. I used to try hard mm-hmm. um, to when I – because I've honestly stopped smoking cigars, like just naturally. And I used to do the whole like – Keep it in the side of your mouth thing, like all the whole time. A cigar? Yeah, dude. Can't do it. Yeah, it's a burning fire. No, but like, you ever see like Al Capone? You ever uh, see Al Capone? <laughs> <laughs> you know all Al Capone. You know, good old Al. He would just keep one in the side of his mouth and just chew on it all day. Ew. I tried to do that. Couldn't do it. it you was- know, that's the worst thing Al Capone's ever done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he wouldn't... Uh, very admirable guy. I don't know anything about Al Capone. How are you doing? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Good to see you. Good to see me. Good to see you. Well, I mean, well, thank you. Well, me is you. No. I am who? I was waiting on the fact that you were saying, like, it's good to see me as well. It is nice I to see you. I only say things like that so you give it to me back. Right. I mean, that's the issue you here. You take, I give. Okay. I take, you give. Mm, you're, you just repeated that. No. Yes, you did. Uh, yes, you did. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. You I said, said, you said I, the same thing twice. I, said, I take, you give. Just because you're pointing and doesn't I mean said, the words I that give, you're saying. You take. What? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I know what you're saying. It's the same outcome. How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing good, Francis. Yeah, yeah, I missed you. Yeah. Um, it's been a week. It has. It has been a week. And quite a week. Yeah. When this, this is coming out, and I'll probably be with my new daughter. Yes. We're recording them a little far in advance. What's Couple, her name again? Damn it. Yeah, you were close. They were going to snap answers. I got to be honest with you. As of where we sit right now. You don't know? We have like three names. We just need to figure out which is going to be first, which is going to be in the middle. Oh, I was like, what? Yeah. So like you're like Joseph. Patrick. Kanye. <laughs> no. And then uh, uh, we're just figuring out the order. At this point in time. Yeah. Which we're excited. Are you waiting to see it? Yeah. To see her and go, this is the thing. This is little Uh, Patricia. Yeah, Patricia. If I go an old stupid name like that. Patricia? I hope hope you would like Patricia. Barbara. Barbara. Rose. Bro, bro. Who? uh, Show me one child named Barbara. One. I think Barbara's out. I don't think there's any more Barbara's. It deserves to be out. Barb's. Like Babs. Babs. Oh my god. I Babs hate. reminds me of big tits though. Yeah, it does. It reminds me of Babs Bunny. Babs Bunny? Yeah. Who's that? Babs Bunny? No, Bugs Bunny? No, Babs Bunny. Babs Bunny is not a bunny. Bad Bunny? No, that's the little top of people. Yeah, no. <laughs> Babs? Babs Bunny is not a thing. There's Bugs Bunny, there's Bad Bunny. Bro, Babs. There- Babs Bunny is a bunny, dude. Who's Babs Bunny? She's from Tiny Dude Adventures. See, I'm not a fucking idiot. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Yeah, what's up? Dude, she got old. <laughs> <laughs> she grew into her ears. Grew, isn't that such a weird, creepy thing for like... I don't think it happens anymore, but when like creepy uncles are like, wow, you filled in. And it's like, oh, yeah. you're actively looking at her boobs when you're saying that. Wait, oh, what? Oh, I don't know. What, what do you over. think the filling in is? Uh, I, I don't know. It's but yeah, yeah. It's like a creepy way that like old wow. men. Wow. Old men used to be like, wow, you filled in, which means you know I'm wearing a bra. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what it's I like, mean? Oh, you got tits now. It's like, ew, dude. Well, not I'm your me, fucking niece. I'm not, a, I'm not a woman. What? I'm not a woman. Yeah, so how do you fill in? Big fat dick. You got a <laughs> big fat bul- bulge still, over there. Still waiting to fill in then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when are you going to finally fill in, Frank? No, with boys, they say your balls dropped. Yeah, let me ask you a question. No, they actually, they drop. They no, physically drop. That's not what I was going to ask you. But actually, is that a thing? Yeah, physically they do. They drop. When do your balls drop? Around the puberty age. Really? So, but I have memories before that. Yeah, and, and my balls were just up, like they were yeah, cold. Yeah, they're like yeah, basically they're just kind of like chilling, and then they drop when it's like. Do you, you know, remember your balls it's dropping? Like a tr- it's like a bird from a tree. Like the birds stay in the nest, and then when they're ready to kind of go out on their own, they drop a little bit. Well, no, the mom kicks them out. Yeah, whatever. The dick kicks out the balls. That's what happens? Yeah. So the dick is like the mama bird, 
And when the yes. when she's like, okay, you guys should be ready by now, she just kicks the birds out. Yes. Which are your balls. Yes. Do you remember your balls dropping? Because I don't remember that. I didn't wake up one day like, oh, my shits are sang uh, slanging. I remember one of my balls dropped before the other. So you had one of these. I had, yeah, I had a, you know, a lady justice on my, on, yeah, you know, I got in you. my pants. Yeah. And it was a little weird. I'll say that. I would say so, yeah. Because, like, you have one that's kind of just, like, you know. L looking up at the other. Yeah, exactly. And, and like, one of them is, like, sitting there, like, yo, what's up down there? Yeah, it's like, yo, get down here. It was it was weird. But then, yes, they did physically. I remember them dropping. I can't tell you exactly when they happened. But did you be like, oh, my God, my balls, finally. I don't know if I said finally because, like, it was not until after my balls dropped when people started saying that, like, in public around me. Like, oh, your balls haven't dropped yet? And it was yeah. like, oh, they have. Yeah. I remember the first time I started wearing boxers, I was loving that. Yeah, I, I actually probably should have gotten in trouble. I was in third grade, and there was a girl in our third grade class, and I showed her. I was like, look, boxers. Yeah, they You were, showed a girl your underwear? Well, yeah, but, like, over the pants. Okay. Like, I pulled, like, the elastic. Who was it? I'm not going to say it. Why not? Because. I mean, I was going to ask if I know her. I definitely know her. Yeah, I mean, obviously, we were in the same third grade class. I'm going to start rattling off girls' names in and our class. And I'm going to say no to all of them. It was Miss Pogerman's class, though. It was Miss Pogerman's class. That's right. Good old lady. Probably gone. Got to be gone, right? No, no, no. She told me how to do fucking script, too. Why does that make her alive? It doesn't. <laughs> but I just choose to believe that she's alive. No. Ice cream party. Last day of school. Awesome. Yeah. David throwing up brown on the table. Not awesome. Not awesome. Not awesome. I brought him to the nurse, and the nurse was like, I was like, he threw up. And he was like, he's all right. And then he threw up again. And she's like, all right, leave him here. I was like, yeah, you take him. Yeah, bro. The, the nurse's office was wild. You would go for anything, and they'd just be like, you good? Uh, yeah? No. Even if you said no, they'd be like, yeah, you are. Get back out there. Yeah, I don't think the nurse ever called my mom like, you got to pick your son up, unless I actually had a fever. I don't – yeah, I can't remember a time that that happened for me either. It was – bro, it was legitimately, like, torture getting to stay home from school because my mom – Never believed me when I was actually sick, but always believed me when I would fake sick. Yes. So it was fucking tough, dude. When I faked sick, I had a whole fucking routine, and she, and, but she'd be pissed at me the whole time. That you're staying home. And she'd be like, oh, just fucking, ah. Uh. <laughs> you know? And I'd stay home. But then when I was actually sick, it was like, nope, you're going to school. And it was like fucking, it was like, damn, maybe I should fake being sick right now. But then I can't fake it when I was actually sick. You know what was cool? When it would snow? Because me, Shannon, and Keith were in different schools at the time. If one of us had off, she would just let us all stay home. Damn. Yeah. That's so it's not cool. like, you know, if, if one of us had school and then the rest didn't, like, or whatever. Like, if I didn't have off, but the other two did, she'd be like, yeah, just stay home. I don't really remember having many snow days as a kid. Like, and I'm not saying snow days like your parents just told you to stay home. I'm saying like school was closed because I feel like in, at least in New York City. They don't close that motherfucker. Not only do they not close, it's just those fucking trucks are on the road the moment it's about to snow and they stay on the road the entire time. There was yeah. only one time that I remember the snow was so bad that like the streets were not paved, uh, paved, uh, plowed. Right. And it was, um... It was like 2008. We were in high school, and it snowed like an insane amount. And I remember seeing cars in the middle of my street just parked. I remember going. I was at someone's house, and there was no snow on the ground. And then when I came out of the house, it there was like two feet on the ground. And I, it took me forever to walk home, and I was like fucking 10 blocks from my house. The biggest – yeah, I remember it would take a while to walk down a block because you were fucking like – you yeah. know, like with your feet. Snowshoes. That would have been nice to have. Yeah. Well, like we, tennis rackets on your foot. We does that gonna, work? I, I would assume they say it does because it's like weight displacement. I struggle to think that it's real. Yeah, no, I think it's just tennis rackets. How did we get here? What oh, are we I talking showed a, about? I showed a girl my boxers. Oh, yeah. Who was it? Who was it? I'm not saying it, dude. Why? Miss Pogerbin. What does that have to do with <laughs> you just repeating the name of the teacher? Was it Pooja? No. Tiffany. No. Kelsey. Actually, no. no, she moved away after second grade. I was devastated. Well, she came back the last day of third grade, and she made a big surprise entrance. I remember that. I do remember that. Like, she was, yeah, like, she was Princess Diana. Yeah, and she, and honestly, she was also treated like it. You did, too. You treated her like it, you bitch. I was, you're part of the problem. I loved her. I loved you're, her. You're part of the problem. Yeah. I, well, she was like, oh, guess who's here? Boom. And I was like, what? Wow, yeah. It was so a big babe time. babe is back. It was a big time She move. was visiting, though. She was moving right back right afterwards. Yeah, absolutely. And also, I... I remember that her and her, like, she came around, like, later on in life when we were in, like, high school. I do remember that. It wasn't, wasn't, it's like Jordan coming back 4-5. Wasn't the same. 
No, I think that I was still into it. Mm, I think we were old enough to see that she was kind of weird. She was quiet. She was quiet. And we're, we're going way too far into this. But you don't want to say a name, and we're just talking about a specific person here. <laughs> we were talking about Kelsey. Who else? Who else was in that? Who else was in that class? Did I name any of them yet? You can keep naming them, and I'm not going to tell you. Lauren Betancourt. Whoa. <laughs> that was a full name. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you went first and last there, bro. Shout out. She was always cool. Hell yeah. She balled hard too. Balled hard. She balled hard. Balled hard. Uh, but yeah, I remember I remember the first time I wore boxers and I was like, oh. uh, why is this a big deal? Well, it's like a coming of age thing for boys. It's like you No, go, I'm saying why is go, it a big deal that you can't say who you showed your boxers to? Because I don't know if they listen or why. I don't want to It's you, the first thing. How could anyone know? I, I we've talked about this person before. I'm not going to I'm not going to keep bringing it up. Oh, it was Jamie. It was not Jamie. It better not have been, you it bastard. <laughs> No, but uh, it was, it's like a coming of age thing for boys. It's like you get out of these little fucking stupid ass underwears that look like shit. Let's be honest. Also, they're super white, dude. I was probably shitting in them. <laughs> you definitely were <laughs> shitting in them, bro. Yeah. Did probably. you ever? Do you remember in pre-K when you have to bring like a change of clothes to school? Did you ever need a change because you either shit or piss your pants? Dude, what? Yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't. Know. In pre-K, I shit myself bad. Really? Yeah, I like shit the hell out of my pants in pre-K. <laughs> I shit the hell out of my pants. I shit the hell out of my pants. And then I remember Miss uh, Payolella. Oh, great. Love her. Where she, is she? God knows. But she brought me to the bathroom. And I had my, in my cubby, I had, you know, my spare yeah, change. Yeah, yeah, I had you, my spare tire. You had your spare tire. <laughs> and she, like, brought me to the bathroom, put me in the stall, and then, like, threw it over. Right? Oh, she and didn't I help you? It. No, she, she fucking Montana that shit over. Yeah, the she stall just like touched. She's like, yeah, fucking do that. And then I, I had the thing and I had to open. And then I took sh- shit, oh, my yeah. shit. You know, I yeah. shit the hell out of my pants. So I took off my pants and boxies, and I had to shit. Pants. Well, you had boxies in. Oh no, I had it, no. They were tidy whiteies. That's what makes it so bad. Is tidy whiteies are so tight that they hold them all. That in. they hold all the shit. Yeah, and this was not a regular wipe, folks. This was like yeah, this wiping was, a baby. This was Defcon poop. This was, yeah, it was. It was bad. And then um, I'll be honest with you. So I had to change. I had a pants. I had a pair of pants and underwear that she had given, and socks. And I was like, let me just change these while I'm here, just in mm-hmm. case. Yeah. Uh, and I honestly don't know what I did with the stuff. Oh, it went back in a plastic bag, and it went in the garbage. I assume. Um, if. I don't know. No, dude. There's no way your parents would Yeah, how could shitty. you clean shit pants? I mean, you can. I but, but how? You wash it. You put shit in the washer. No, so we, I, as someone who is the resident dad, besides Greg, I had times when Ruby was young where she would shit through her diaper. So you got a shit thing. 15 years, she's really going to hate this story. Yeah. Uh, oh, she's uh, shit her pants as a baby? I'm talking about being old and shitting pants. <laughs> And it gets all over like the onesie. Yeah. And in our there's like a slop sink in our kit in our laundry room. Okay. And you rinse it. <laughs> you, you you rinse the the, the poop. <laughs> and then you just throw right into the maybe a little spray and wash a little. Tsk, 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 tsk. But it's got shit on. It's shitty. Well, yeah. It's it's more brown at that point or green, or light light yellow. Cool. Um, and and then it just goes right into the wash. Huh. Yeah. The wash drains. It's all right. Yeah, but like, don't you don't you think like the washer now just has like a bunch of shit in it? No, nah, because it, it cleans. It cleans inside the washer with the soap. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. So then why would they throw out my pants? It was Payolello. Did she throw out my well, pants? Well, it was 1996. Uh, washing machines were nowhere near what they are today. No, my mar- my washing machine was fucking fire. Really? I used to, yo, I used to be afraid of my washing machine because it was the one where it's like you throw mad shit in. Uh-huh. And then like it's just a thing in the middle that just goes like, and then all the clothes somehow mix. Oh, we had the one that had like a little spiral thing in the middle. That's what I'm saying. Oh, I thought you were saying it was like two things that go like this. No, it was a spiral thing that would spin. It didn't spin as much as it like went it would, back and forth. It would literally spin like this, and it would. I used to watch. Uh, I thought was, if I put my hand in, I would get stuck and pulled under. What, you did do that? No, or, I, I used oh, to you think were afraid that. of it. Yeah. At any time I would do laundry growing up in our childhood home, I would watch the water fill it up, and I would imagine there were little people on my clothes, and then when the water came and got them, that they'd drown. What? Yeah. I would watch the water fill it up. And as the, as the water was going up in the washing machine drum, 
I would be like, oh, there are little people living in a civilization on my clothes. Like, um, like you know. And then as the water rises up, it, like, takes them and kills them. <laughs> what could I say to that? I mean, I, I, the only thing that I can compare that to is when I was dr- when I would be in the car, and if I was sitting window, you know, there's, like, a handle. Mm-hmm. I used to hold it like a joystick and then pretend that I was shooting missiles at other cars and just killing people. Oh, that's, nice. Like, pew, pew, pew. that's nice. That's nice, too. I would just be blowing up traffic. That's cool. I like that one. Yeah, that's a and I, one. I, I, we'd be in a traffic jam, and I'm just like, I'll, I'll handle it. And then also I used to pretend like this was a machine gun. Like, so like sidewalks, I'd be killing yeah, people. So you just, then yeah. this was the missile. Yeah, well, I bet. So you, so you just had dreams of you know mass shooting. Uh, Yeah, but you had a mass drowning <laughs> one. <laughs> it's okay. And also, is it a mass shooting I, if it's I was missiles? Just God. It's not a mass shooting I was if it's just missiles. God looking down. I didn't fucking. You filled them up. Though. I, I was just God. You caused the I flood. I was God watching, and you're the one that has the gun. Fair, but I was shooting missiles. You also just said machine gun. You I, said this was machine guns. This was missiles. Yes, 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 yes. yes. <laughs> but mostly missiles. <laughs> so, oh, it's not yeah. a mass shooting if it's missiles. It's an, it's a mass missling. It's a well okay, fine. It's a mass missling. It's still evil. Technically, yeah. Pretty evil, Joe. Oh, it was yeah. We all do stuff like this. Uh I don't think I daydreamed about it. You mass just shooting. drowned a bunch of people in your clothes. I was God, Joey. I was God and I watched the great flood come and take away the microbiome people on my clothes. <laughs> What's wrong with that? You were were you afraid of it though? Were you afraid of the? I wasn't afraid. I was laughing the whole time. No, okay, psycho. I'm talking about. Are you afraid of the fucking? Were you afraid of the washing machine, like getting trapped in it? No, because I'm not a fucking dumbass. I was mad scared. You're son. so stupid. That's why. Well, no, time out. I was a child, impressionable, and I think my mom told me that because she was worried that I'd fucking fall in and get. Well, it fucking... is a, it is a serious thing that like they always tell kids not to hide in washing machines and dryers because it's no 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 it's it's an actual thing is like. There have been cases of, like, kids playing hide-and-seek in the house. They hide in a washing machine or a dryer. Parent doesn't know, turns it on, and they die. Way to fucking bring it down, Frank. Jesus oh, Christ. You know. We're having fun, fake-killing civilizations, and you put a dead baby in the dryer. Oh, well, who know? No one ever said baby, Joey. You're the one that is sitting there fucking daydreaming of opening fire in a crowd of people. In, in traffic. traffic. In traffic. Fair enough. That's fair not enough. a crowd of people. It's a crowd of cars. Fair enough. It's a I different often, thing. When I'm in traffic, I think of if I had mind powers, and I sometimes use my hand and pick cars up and get them out of my way so I can drive. You know? <laughs> Yo, why do we do shit I don't like know. This? I don't know. <laughs> mind power. Yo, let me ask you another question, okay? You know, we, we both grew up like Star Wars fans. Yes, we did. The answer is yes. But have you ever just went like this to, a, to an object? Just been like, let me get this on camera. You just went like this? For such an inordinate amount of time, dude. Just like standing there, like, come to me. Or not even just, not even Star Wars, Matilda. I just watched oh! it. just like, I'm just like, just fucking move. Just oh, do she, something. Uh, or she would, she would do this too. Like, she would like, she was, she was big with fingers. She was, she, yeah. she was big with it. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I used to do that like a crazy amount. She'd be like, oh my God. And I, I like really thought that I could do it. You like, could. Like that I could get a water bottle just to move slightly and come to me. I, I mean, let's be honest. You can't until you can. You know what I'm saying? Like if you just sit there and you maybe keep trying, you might be able to get it. No. That's, that's not the really... problem with, you know, telekinetic abilities. The reason that we haven't figured out we can do it yet is because we're always gaslighting other people into thinking that we can't. So if you sit there and I'm and if you stare long enough, you might be able to. I see your thumb. I see your thumb. I'm not going to... I see your thumb. But can you imagine? Can you imagine this for a second. Bro, legit. Imagine this. Oh, legit. Imagine I'm sitting here and I'm just like making a joke and I'm like, oh, whatever. And then all of a sudden this thing just went... What would we do? 30,000 patrons in a day. Bro, I would throw this at you as hard as I could. Scream, shut off the cameras and jump through the glass. Well, that's the other thing. I'm a nice person, but if I did have superpowers, I'd do some bad shit. I would be just... Bro, the it, world in traffic. Oh. Legitimately, that car thrown into the air. Yeah, I just got to make sure no one importance in it. Yeah. no kids or whatever. That crush, that vaporize, like it'd be gone. Dude. Yeah, yeah. I don't. Yeah, I'd be very irresponsible with superpowers. I don't know that I would be like a good person. I, I would. Def- I would. I wouldn't tell anyone I got powers. But Here's I'd be the like, thing. there's not enough like a villain like super villains. You know what I mean? Like if they. Like, I can, like, yeah, I can go after, like, you know, bad people, like, you know, uh, fucking, you know, you know bad people. 
but it wouldn't be fun unless they can fight back. Yeah, you can't go out after bad humans. Yeah, like, oh, there's a fucking mugging down the street, and it's like, all right, like... Yeah, just get robbed. People can use a good mugging. Everyone you know what I mean? Every, everyone should be robbed at Honestly, some point. <laughs> it, it, it puts some hair on your chest. Yeah, I don't want anyone to get like... Well, actually... I, I don't want anyone to get hurt. I want you to lose your possessions. I do think people could use a punch in the side of the head. I agree with that. If someone would just cock back and just punch you right in your fat coconut head, it yeah. would be really nice. No. <laughs> what? Fat coconut head. Uh, getting punched in the side of the head so it doesn't mess up any of your, you know, your face. But just get punched in the side of the head. Get your stuff stolen. It's nice. It's nice. It's good. I don't want anyone to be the victim of crime because crime is a serious issue. I hate crime. I will say, though... You hate crime? Yeah, I don't like crime. Hmm. Uh, I felt like you were saying that like a verb. Like you, you hate crime. You, yeah. Well, you, like you perform hate crime. You to do. You, you know, say, yo, I, you just said verb. I hate crime. Remember those old Nickelodeon commercials? Verb. It's what you do. You hate crime. You said you hate crime. No, I said I you hate. hate you like you crime. know I, I I hate crime. I hate crime. Yeah, but you didn't you didn't pause. You didn't say I hate crime. You went I hate crime. No, and I'm like, oh okay. No, no, this no. is something that you no. do. It's a social construct. I can't hate crime or do the act of hate criming because I am a Hispanic man, Joey. Sounds like you're trying though. You no, said you said I'm not. I hate you crime. You do the act of hate crime. I hate crime. You hate crime all the time. We could run the tape. You do. You t oh, what do I do? You do and you know you do. What do I do? What have I done? See? That's what happens when you do it. Is you get very defensive like that. That's what the world sees. You have spun this around <laughs> like a like a washer. Like a washer dryer. Anyway, so what was your favorite hate crime that you've performed? <laughs> <laughs> the one that you paid me to do. You would still be performing a hate crime. Uh, You'd yeah. be taking me down with but you. But who's in trouble? The person that shoots the gun or the person that put the gun to the other person's head? Both, idiot. <laughs> 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 who's in trouble? <laughs> I, have, I don't know. You. We would, but I would give you up quick, so I'd get immunity. But it would be harder to nail me. What is the one crime that you've thought about doing the most and getting away with? Robbing. Yeah, me too, dude. I, like, I, and I, I really feel like I could, but then I remember that cameras are everywhere. Yeah, but you gotta, you gotta think about something. A cop is not gonna go and pull cameras for like a petty theft robbery. So what kind of robbery would you do? A couple I would bucks? Do, I would do a good robbery. I would rob, you know what I would rob? Groceries. And oh, also, like Aladdin, you fucking street rat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this wasn't a fear of yours growing up. Like, my mom would go to, like, Costco or something. She would come back, and she would park in front of our house and leave the, the, the trunk open. And we would just, you know, take all the groceries in the house. I would run back outside because I was worried that someone would be walking by and, like, take our ham. Um, first of all, why did you buy ham that much and you came up with that example? It was just a thing that came in my head. But you weren't worried about people stealing out of your car, like your groceries? No. I had this crazy fear that someone's just going to run up, take our groceries, and run up the block. No, I because like, I did the ultimate alpha male thing, and I loaded both of my arms with 400 bags and cut off my circulation and walked in like this. Yes, but I was 10, so that would mean I would You weren't a strong 10-year-old? I was fucking yoked. No, you weren't. Yeah, it was. No. Uh, <laughs> your jeans were pretty brolic. I'll say that. It was. I was 10, Joey. Well. My jeans weren't brolic until I was like 13, 14. All right? And how do you know what's in my jeans, you freak? I knew. Okay. Trust me. <laughs> that the trust me exactly. was too much. Exactly. The trust me sounded like too much. No, it didn't. Oh. It sounds like we once had sexual relations. We never did. A lot of people often think that you and I have sexual tension. Dude, so many people. <laughs> yeah, I know. They do. I'm serious. They be like, oh my like God. Dude, one day someone <laughs> sent me a, uh, a message that I didn't see for a while. And it was about Danny. And I need to find it. But it was so... Just give me the, just give me the 10 cent story, Joey. Bro, I, I, I can't. But it was basically like, yo, Danny... Sh Praying on you. What? Basically. Like, like, yo, like, be careful with him. Like, he wants to, like, have sex with you? Yes. Oh, here it is. There's a lot of words in here. Just use it. But I 
because I it, it was a clip from an old episode where Danny had texted me in the morning and said, "Bro, kissed you in my dream." So we were talking about that, and then someone sent me a message and it said, "It's like watching a sexual predator uh, groom its prey for a." Uh, Danny is trying to break you down to fuck you. Then when it happens, he'll make you feel guilty like you gave him the signal to go. Listening to the basement yard when Danny's talking about anything sexual is completely cringe. Can't do it anymore. Be careful, Joe. You should you should have someone take over for him. <laughs> I immediately sent that to Danny. I was like, bro. Yeah. They, almost almost got me. You almost got me. You almost got bitch. me. I was careful, all right. I bet you were. I hit the fuck out of those cases. Yeah, that was actually very appealing the way yeah. you did that. So anyway, off the backs of that, I guess we'll do these <laughs> ads. Um, this show is sponsored by BetterHelp. BetterHelp is online counseling, uh, therapy. Uh, you can talk to a therapist uh, through BetterHelp in just under 48 hours. Um, it is amazing. It's convenient, flexible, affordable, way more affordable than in-person therapy, um, which can cause an arm and a leg. You know, especially if you you don't have the right insurance or, you know, whatever. With BetterHelp, it's very easy. You just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched uh, with your therapist. You can change um, from a therapist for no additional charge. Uh, and, yeah, if you want to live a more empowered life, therapy can get you there. Visit BetterHelp.com slash Basement Yard today to get 10% off your first month. That's on top of it already being affordable. Saving another 10% on your first month. Uh, that is BetterHelp.com slash Basement Yard. Go out there and save yourself some money uh, with the code. And, uh, yeah, get in some therapy. Therapy is amazing. Uh, and and there goes my – there we go. Okay, uh, next we have <laughs> Squarespace. <laughs> Squarespace, uh, if you're going to be building a website, folks, this is what you're going to want to do. Go to Squarespace, okay? It is the best um, – I've built multiple websites using Squarespace. They have awesome templates, um, you know, to to make it easy to kind of design it, if you will. Um, you don't need to like, you know, go crazy and learn how to code or anything like that. You, they have templates that makes it very easy. Um, but it's it's great. Uh, love it. Uh, we encourage um, everyone to use Squarespace. I think it's it's the best one to be building your your websites on. Um, but uh, head to uh, squarespace.com slash uh, basement uh, for you uh, for a free trial, and when you get ready to launch, use the offer code Basement to save ten percent off of your first uh, purchase of a website or domain. Again, uh, squares squarespace.com/basement for a free trial, and when you're ready to launch, use the offer code Basement to save ten percent off of your first purchase of a website or domain. Um, like I said, if you're going to be building a website, this is the one you want to go to, folks. It's the best in the biz. Um, Go check out all their templates. You can make your website very beautiful with this. And uh, lastly here, we have Rocket Money, which is going to save you money. Uh, they're formerly known as Truebill. Uh, it's a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitors your spending, and helps you lower your bills all in one place. So it's very useful. And actually like 80% of people, I believe, yeah, 80% of people have subscriptions that they forgot about. You know, if you sign up for a free trial or you signed up for some app and you don't remember that you were paying for that and you've been paying for it the last two years or something like that and it's just money coming out of your account and you just don't even know uh rocket money is going to help you identify those things and then cancel them uh you know on average it's saving uh people up up to 720 dollars a year that's money that you want you want in your pocket you don't want to give away um so stop throwing your money away cancel unwanted subscriptions and manage your expenses the easy way by going to rocketmoney.com slash basement. That is rocketmoney.com slash basement. Um, so yeah, go save yourself some money. Rocketmoney.com slash basement. All right, folks? There you go. And, ladies and gentlemen, boy, do we talk about the Patreon often, but it's honestly for a good cause. And what is that good cause? Us. Uh, <laughs> Patreon.com slash the basement yard. We, not only did we get to 13, we just blew past 14,000 patrons, and we are slowly but surely climbing up the ranks in the worldwide podcasts, and we want to not stop until we get to number one. Now, what is Patreon? Well, it's just more of this. If you like this, if you like us, if you like me, if you like Joe, then the Patreon is where you want to be, and I'll tell you how to do that. Patreon.com slash The Basement Yard. You sign up for that first tier, well, guess what? You get these weekly episodes a week in advance before everybody else. That second tier, well, that's where the goodies come in baby you get exclusive episodes every single friday and you get to watch anything in the back catalog too so oh no i just signed up for patreon today guess what 
Anything that has been posted on there, you have full access to. So go check it out. Patreon.com slash The Basement Yard. We are trying to keep up with coming up with what we're going to be doing as we're hitting these milestones. And we are so thankful and grateful. Keep watching because we're going to have uh, more announcements on what we're going to be doing. Uh, but the most recent one is that drag episode. I looked good. You look. People say I actually spoke to a friend who is very into RuPaul's Drag Race. And they said that I looked better. But I needed to extend my neck more and elongate my neck. <laughs> is that what they said? Yeah. But nonetheless, patreon.com slash the basement era. Go check it out now. Thank you for the love and support. We're excited for 2023. 2022 was huge. Bunch of penis. What was that last part? I burped as I was going to say something, and that's just how it came out. Bunch of penis. <laughs> well, no. Bunch of penis. Got it. Bunch of penis. Bunch of <laughs> Yeah. Um, also, uh, I just got a text that came in from... Your dad. Joe Santagato. There uh, he is. He's hey, back. Hey, Joe. I was thinking now that Christmas is over and the new year is starting, I should set up my messages so I can auto-respond to my regular texters. So you're all set up. Push one button and my message to you is, hey, fuck you. 2023 <laughs> should be a fun year. Talk to you on New Year's. See ya. Wow. <laughs> I don't even know how to... I got to be honest with you. I get the opposite end of it for my dad, and I kind of wish I had something like that. Like, my dad will message me and be like, a, a son's love is unparalleled. <laughs> like, way to go, dad. Yeah, I don't know. My dad's on a kick now where he's just, like, texting me all the time. I think he might and it's mostly fuck you stuff. I think he might be starting to love you. I think so. You think it, it, we could hope. <laughs> oh, well, he texted me on Christmas, and he said, just for today and only for today, I'm changing my post-it note message, which he, that's text Again, messages. that's what he calls texts. Post-its. Uh, from fuck you to Merry Christmas. Love you, son. Have a great day. And I said, oh, thanks, Dad. I love you, too. Merry Christmas. And then he just sent this one. So, and then, so, so he's on a roll. He's back to fuck you. Can I, can I, you give me one day. Can I just text your dad? Just give him, give him my number, and him and I will text for a day. And then I'll delete it. And then I'll delete it. Yeah, I'll delete the text and the number. I'm going to say no for you. Why? <laughs> because they won't stop coming in. It's okay. Okay. Your dad and I have a special bond. He used to drive me home a lot. He used to not like you. Yeah. He used to drive me home a lot. He did. He used to drive me home. And I would stay at your house and I'd have to be home by nine. I'd, I'd always be like, all right, I'm going to leave. And your dad would all, like, I had no problem walking home. But your Frank, dad. Frank, you live two blocks from me. Three. But who's counting? And your dad always made it seem like, ugh. <sighs> Come on. Like, he's, like he was driving to fucking Long Island and back. Yeah, yeah. He was like, ah, let's go. And yeah, he, like, he would also right. would, th he would like think it's like insane that you would walk home. Yeah. Well, and then he would tell us that we needed to be outside more. It was like, I was literally going to be outside yeah. just a minute ago. He used to tell me all the time, like, he's like, whenever you're out, just call me. I put, he puts it, he put his, he used to sleep with tube socks and he would put his cell phone, flip phone in his sock. He's like, so when it vibrates and rings, I'll feel it and I'll wake up. Well, he couldn't hear it because he had the mask. Well, no, this was before that. Oh. Never picked it up. Never, not once. No, not once. Yeah, my mom was the same way. My mom would always say like, anything, call me. I, would, I swear to God, no one is worse at answering her phone than my mom. But Called actually, you, needed you, didn't have him. Yeah, talking about mom, uh, there's a story <laughs> I saw. Uh, that I that I that we said that we were going to talk about that's going to kind of dictate the rest of this episode. Yeah. And uh, there's apparently this guy Nick Adams, who is like an Australian, like pri prides himself on being an alpha male. Do you know who this is? Is he in your circle or my circle? Yeah, your circle, your inner circle of people. I'm googling Nick Adams. But he's like an Andrew Tate type, but not as like I'm I'm going to find you and I will fight you because men fight. <laughs> I don't know who this guy is. Oh, apparently, he's like, you know, a hyper meninist, as they would call it, I think is the term that okay. people would use for him. He but, looks like a guy named Angelo. Does he? Let me see. Put away your nudes. Dude, that's what he looks like? Yeah. Bro. He looks like, it doesn't look like his name is Angelo, and he like his, his dad owns a pizzeria. Exactly. I was just going to say his dad owns yeah. a pizzeria. And his dad's got, like, a lazy eye, too. Yeah, and he hasn't been able to breathe since 1914. Right, but he makes fucking really good pizza. Yeah, really. I mean, well, it's the you know what it is. It's the sauce. It's the racism in the sauce. And, yes. Yeah, it's absolutely the racism in the sauce. But there was a story that came out that said that he is now boycotting Pizza Hut after Pizza Hut went woke, and he said alpha males eat at KFC. 
Do you think that? Well, let's start here. Wait, hold on. You you've eaten at KFC. Yes. What's your order at KFC? Uh, three piece spicy. Three. I mean, if I want to die tomorrow, I'll go five. Yeah. Okay. Well, I don't want to. Well, die. I, I'm not eating KFC KFC unless I like. Am upset. I'll be honest. I'll say this though. Popeyes over KFC. Fuck it. Yo, Popeyes is fire. Even though I got robbed outside of one, I'm still loyal. Did you? Yeah, you remember when I got shaken down and they took my Madden 97? I thought that was in front of a bank. That was, which was right next to Popeyes. We were eating in Popeyes. Oh. Oh, yeah, that's right. There was a Popeyes over there. Yeah. We were eating in Popeyes. And Good we, times. Um, for who? I was on your phone. You were. So I saved your phone. You did? Yeah. But you didn't save my Eagles hat, but then your brother picked us up, and you bought me a new Eagles hat, which wasn't even mine. It was my brother's. It was very nice, and your brother got mad at me because I made a joke about him fighting people, and he said, you fucking little bitch, I'm trying to help you. Right. I remember that, yeah, that was a, vividly. I, I often want to tell Thomas I'm sorry, but I— He doesn't remember. I, well, no, he remembers. <laughs> it's probably like, this gets a scumbag. Yeah, that's probably— Well, um, that hurts. I, uh, I, um— Popeyes is amazing. KFC. I used to drive with Keith randomly, and we'd go to. Uh, there's not even a KFC like near me. I had to go all the way like northern. More, I know exactly where it was. Northern, northern Boulevard. Boulevard. Yeah. Which I almost killed unself and people around one time, because I got. We went and we would get these things, and it's like a chicken sandwich that has bacon and cheese in the middle, and the bread is chicken. Yeah, I, I remember it. Double down, double double fuck, yeah, double dash. The double bypass. I the double think it was double called. bypass surgery. Yeah, so <laughs> we would go and get those, and they were the fucking good. Oh, I could I could bet. And there was like this cummy dressing on Uh-oh, it too. Whoop, now we're going too far. I'm just saying it was, that stuff was really good too. Why do you like it? Just tasted good. Oh, I'm sure it did. But when we ordered it, I like was in my mom's car, and I went to go grab the order, and I like extended, and my foot extended <gasps> right on the gas. Whoa, dude! But I was in park. Still whoa, dude. I know, but if I was in drive, I'm taking off. And by the way, sidewalk, where you can't see people coming, you have to drive slow, and intersection. Yeah, you would have been dead. It's okay. I would have... Pow, 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 pow. I would yeah. just took out a bunch yeah, of people. It doesn't matter. I for a say, chicken sand. Listen, Popeyes over, over KFC. Love but Popeyes. But KFC's still good. KFC's still good. You know what? You know what? Watch this. Might get some tonight. KFC? Maybe not. Pe- or Popeyes. Uh-huh. I don't know which one you're saying. <laughs> Maybe a little bit of column A. <laughs> Didn't expect you to stop. Popeye's biscuits. Uh, I would KFC go to KFC biscuits war. over Popeye's biscuits. The Popeye's ones are a little too dry. I'm sorry. Did you say KFC biscuits over Popeye's biscuits? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You're a fucking idiot. But we know that the best biscuit is three, two, one. Bread, bread lobster. lobster. They have really good biscuits. But no, Popeye's is better. Popeye's is better. I, I I think the biscuits They're dry, but who cares? I I do. The taste though. It, it's, it's more buttery. It, but it's not I want a little moisture in, in there as well. If I'm spit, spit on, on it. it. Spit on it. Yes, yeah, spit on the spit on it. Give me a non-dry fucking biscuit. Bro, just just be a man, open the biscuit and it's so hot and it's buttery on the outside and if you if you if you it's too doing. dry for you, you, you know little girl, doing. spit on it. Is that what you do when th- things are a little too dry for you, Joe? <laughs> That's how I eat it. So, like an alpha male. You're like an alpha male, yeah. I'm, I'm going to say, you know, for, for my southern folks. And the folk, fries. They are good. But I always get my sides. I always get the mashed potatoes and the coleslaw. Mashed potatoes are good. The, the mac and cheese, surprisingly, not that good at Popeye's. I don't even know if I've had it. It's too creamy and there's not enough flavor. Yeah, I... I don't really like the the mac and cheese at like Boston Market. I can't eat Boston Market. I I literally. So when I was in college, when I was an RA, did you know I was an RA in college? Huh, apparently, uh, I. <laughs> did you go to college? I went to college. Um, we would we would show up early and do summer like we would do training before like the rest of the students moved Just in. Just get to the Boston Market. We would get Boston Market for at least like one or two meals for the the two week training. Okay. And. Uh, every time I had it, every time my stomach hurt. Really? Every single time. Weird. Cornbread? From Boston Market? Can't have it. Cornbread's okay. I'm not a big cornbread guy. Uh, it depends because people who make Becca it- makes really fucking good cornbread, dude. Someone, where was I? Made cornbread pudding? Holy shit. Bro, Becca makes like a cornbread casserole with like corn in it. Fuck. 
I would hope it's in the fucking name. Well, no, there's like you can buy cornbread with just like a packet, but like she puts, she adds shit to it. She she crushed that little bitch. <laughs> but the reason I was getting at it is because it struck a question in us. Yes. What is an alpha male? An alpha male, and what do they do? And how can we become alpha gentlemen? No. Males. Men. Because alpha Man. and gentleman don't go together. Because an alpha is like, fuck it. Rough and tough. Yeah. Okay. Or prim and proper. Oh, uh, okay. You know? Yeah. Have you been seeing on TikTok the like wolf pack family? What the fuck is that? You don't know? You haven't heard about these people? I got to send these. People who have like wolves? It's like a, a skinny, twerpy, fucking redheaded dweeb <laughs> who is like the alpha wolf. And he lives with like... Three, uh, three girls and they are like his like his beta and like the other like part of his pride pack I don't know oh they actually do a lot of like they the... do like wolf shit and like there's one video where wait he... do they act like wolves he... yes bro wait I thought this was gonna be like a okay keep going and he like eats spicy food but he's supposed to be like the alpha so he's like <laughs> he's like his fucking shit is burning he's like get me a towel and they're like, I don't see any napkins, Alpha. And he's like, I said towel. And they're like, is it burning? He's like, no. <laughs> bro, it's fucking, Wait, gotta, is, it a, is it a bit? No. That's the best part. I'll show you after. I'll show you after we're done There's recording. a guy. Oh, are, do they think they're wolves? Or bro, they just think it's like, he, I'm a, I'm a manly gotta, man. Now I gotta look it up. What the fuck is it called? Why do people do this? I don't know. It has to be a bit. Al, no, bro, I'm telling you, it's not a fucking bit. Frankie, it has to be. Bro, that guy? Bro, yes. And look, they have a battle to determine who's the alpha. Who's the other guy? Epic wolf battle. I can't even watch this. This makes me so upset. Those are the Is that the that woman in the background is one of the one of the one of the wolves? Yes, dude. Okay. All right. Let's just get to what we're talking about Hold because on, wait, can, I'm sorry, this one one more. This has to be fake. What the fuck? Bro, icon. I can't, like, sometimes with these uh, things, I, I can't tell if people are joking or not. I hope to God that they're joking. I know. There's a couple people on TikTok that I can't figure out if they're joking, but I, I secretly hope they are. All right. Well, anyway, let's get to what we're doing. So we, we picked out some categories to try and figure out how to be the, the biggest alpha. I don't know Frankie's answers. I know mine. Yeah. Um, so the first thing we have, because it was the fast food restaurant, what's the most alpha fast food restaurant? All right. First one I picked, Hardee's. Hardee's? Yeah. What's Hardee's? You know, like Carl Jr.'s and Hardee's? No. And I'll tell you why. Because alphas only eat places that are fucking rock hard. And nothing is harder than Hardee's. And I won't include Carl Jr.'s because I'm not a fucking junior. I'm the alpha head of my pack. Although Carl Jr. did have that one uh, fucking Super Bowl commercial where a girl with a big fat boobs up. Did she? Yeah. I, I think I think that was Carl Jr.'s. I don't remember it. I haven't eaten at either of these places. Neither, neither, neither. I picked Taco Bell. Why? Because it's like, yo, just like... Get the Taco Bell and have diarrhea like a man. Yeah, that's right. Shit into the bowl hard. Yeah, like eat your food and conquer it. Bro, by the way, that just reminded me. This just happened five days ago. I was here by myself and I was like, oh my God, I have to go to the bathroom. So I go to the bathroom, right? There's usually not people in the bathroom and I had to shift. Mm -hmm. I had to shift. So I go into the bathroom and, I, and someone comes in and I'm like, oh, fuck. So I just leave. Because I wasn't in the stall yet. Why? I don't know. <laughs> but then I come back, and a guy is in, gets in the stall, right? Like, he had just gotten to the stall, and I'm like, oh, he doesn't see me. So I go into the stall anyway. Bro, I sit down. This guy takes the craziest beginning of a shit I've ever heard in my life. How? What do you mean? I, I thought it was a gun. It was like... <laughs> And I was like, one, the first thing that popped in my head was like, yo, good for him. 
because he doesn't give a fuck. He knows I'm here. Yeah, he, and he doesn't he, give a he, shit. He, it's, 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 you know. So that was alpha. Yeah, shitting hard in a in a fucking. That is pretty alpha. I was like, damn, dude, this dude doesn't give a fuck. He doesn't care about his poop. Like, boo, boo, boo. like shitting. He bro. only has hard shits. That's what I'm saying. So Taco Bell for me is like up there. That's pretty good because I also have Wendy's because like bitches are the mascot. So, so like, you're let's eat- go get some Wendy's. So you're eating from the woman. Uh, okay. Is that what you're doing? Oh, I'm just saying there's bitches around. Quit saying bitches. <laughs> Maybe. Stop. <laughs> the way you said that. I, I, I understand the logic, I, but this is also a bit. Okay. All right. Uh, I said my second, I said fucking Jack in the box. And I'll tell you why. Because my fucking alpha name is probably Jack. And being a Jack is hard as shit. And I'm always in that box. I've also never eaten there. Me neither. Where are these places? I think it, Jack in the Box. I think is more of like a southwestern thing, or like west. I I don't think I've ever seen a Carl Junior's, Hardee's, or Jack in the Box in my entire life. I've been to a Checkers once. Good shakes. That's it. I've seen a Checkers. There's one by me actually. Nice. I really want to eat it. Uh, they have fat fries. Do they? I really want to eat at a uh, White Castle, but I can't convince anyone in my life to eat it with me. You're not gonna convince me. <laughs> <laughs> Last one for my alpha males only. Only place we eat is fucking Burger King, and I will tell you why. Because we are royalty, and we do not eat like peasants. It is Burger King, or it is fucking death and dishonor. Actually, I have McDonald's, but I think Fuck you're right. Fuck you and your McDonald's. You want to be getting eaten by a clown? <laughs> <laughs> getting eaten by a clown. I will say that Burger King is probably more manly. Yeah. Just because I think they have, like, fatter burgers. And we have seeds on our buns. Clean buns are just like fucking cleanly shaved balls. They are not alpha enough. We want seeds and grit. Got it. <laughs> All right. Next one. What's the most alpha way to say vagina? Because saying vagina is for betas. Yeah. So how do you say vagina? Spike. <laughs> <laughs> so you want to have sex with a woman's spike? Just yeah. Because there's nothing as rigid and aggressive. Spike. Alpha. Yeah. I put front hole. (laughs) (laughs) Pull out your front hole. Let me see it. I put lady bathroom. That's okay. (laughs) All right. But no. But okay. Fine. I put flap trap. (laughs) I put master bedroom. (laughs) <laughs> I actually like that one Because that is where I am And I am the master Yeah And anyone that decides to be an alpha In my master bedroom Will have to fight me And the last one I put was Bunny hole <laughs> I had trouble coming over the last <laughs> Clearly My bunny I don't know but, You know bunnies actually do burrow And they make um Like that's where they Like have their kids I don't care <laughs> <laughs> I don't care if it makes sense there is nothing more alpha than a man being above a vagina. <laughs> above a vagina. How, does, how do alphas drink their water? I'm just becoming Andrew Tate. Yeah, I think so. I, I don't know. How would you drink a water like this? <laughs> what was that sound? I guess so, yeah. yeah. That's, no. How do you drink it? <laughs> Please try to drink the water like that. Just spit it. <laughs> Did you hear this? I'm going to suck that water bottle to hell. Go, I was going to go like this. <laughs> Frankie! There's electronics, you stupid fuck. Jesus Christ, my fucking face. <laughs> You're soaking wet. What's happening? Frank. Oh my God. It's spilling out of you. Did you get, is there any water left in your, are you crying or is that water? Yes. That's not an appropriate answer. (laughs) Good God, dude. What a mess. It's soaked. Well. You spit everywhere. 
That's how alpha males drink water. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> All right. Next one. What's the most alpha way to have sex? Okay. Wait, no, that's not the one I saw was next. I saw the car was next. I know, but I'm going out of order. All right. Um, the most alpha way to have sex is laying down with the person doing the work on top. Oh, so just getting ridden. Yeah, because I am a man and sex for me is, is a not... Sex for you is a privilege. For me, it is what I am deserved. You're not even making sense. The first one I put was missionary with the news on. <laughs> Watching the news, getting information, and fucking pussy. Yeah. As entrepreneurs and alphas, the intake of information never stops. I need to be getting sucked and getting mind fucked at the exact same time. <laughs> What's your next one? Uh, uh, as a wolf. <laughs> there is one way I do things, and that is as an apex predator. As an alpha male, I have sex as a wolf. So I sit there, I howl, and I let the world know that this is mine. Got it, got it, got it. The most alpha way to have sex, um, this one I just put with your boys. What? Like, just, just fuck your boys. All right. <laughs> Not what I expected. What's better? Oh, just like Saturdays are for the boys? Yeah, like... Saturday fucking... and Sundays are for fucking your boys. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. A nice, delightful Sunday. Yeah. Uh, my last one was with no less than three women. Ah. Because as an alpha, I have multiple women around me who are all vying for my attention and sex. Right. Right. So far, so good. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Boy. Let's go to pets too. What's the most... Alpha pet to own. Yes. I'm starting. <laughs> okay. Uh, a bird that yells at simps. <laughs> There's probably a parrot out there that says weird shit. Oh, there a hundred percent are parrots out there that. Say Yo, weird parrots shit. are unbelievable, bro. It's insane. I, I like they'll like be like hello. I know, but they also that was really good. Yeah. Dude, you sounded exactly like a parrot. Give me something now. to say as a parrot. Um, what's going on, guys? What's going on, guys? It sounded like Elmo. Hello. That was better. You, you got the hello down. Hello. You're going to need to stop now. <laughs> Don't celebrate. That was Elmo. I love Elmo parrots. I love you. Watch a lot of Elmo. Apparently. Uh, the first one I have, the most alpha pet to own, NFTs. Oh. Uh, because some of them are animals. They I feel are. Like. Yeah, they are. The What's bored the, ape. the bored apes? The bored apes. Yeah. I was going to say rich monkey. Uh, that might... I mean, technically. Technically, that's... Yeah. Can we... We're on a little baby thing here. Yeah. NFTs. Don't know what those are. Don't. They're stupid. I'm not going to buy one. Guess what? You might own it. But guess who else also owns it? Everyone else also owns it. You know what I'm saying? Well, no. That's not what if happens. If I post a picture and saying I'm selling this NFT. Yeah. I can just save that picture and now I own it. Wrong. Nope. No, yes. You are wrong. No. But still, even though you are wrong and you can technically own the original blah, 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 uh, I don't, I, I just don't care. Okay. But sorry. My other pet that makes me an alpha male is a ravenous pit bull on a leash, but the leash is just a chain. Yes. And I, I also take, wrote pit bull. And I, I take pictures of it with it in between my legs. Yes. Like DMX. And uh, like Yugoslavians. <laughs> And Albanians. You know, I got attacked by a dog once. I thought you were going to say by a Yugoslavia, and I was going to say. Oh no! But most people we know were. Well, yeah, no, I, I was definitely. Um, have I told that story on the podcast? That you were attacked by a dog? Uh, no, a Yugoslavian. No, I wasn't attacked by a Yugoslavian. I was. A Yugoslavian called me and said, "Come to the park. We're going to jump you. We're going to jump you." And I was like, "Literally the last place I'm going to go now. <laughs> like I'm not going to go get jumped." Yeah, actually, the person that said it, I believe. Uh, that's enough, Frank. Yeah, okay. Jesus Christ. Right, yeah. I guess you're right. I guess you're right. It's a wild thing that you were going to do. Yeah, it's all right. It's okay. Um, but I did do that. And I also wrote lions because, come on. I feel Ooh. like alpha males, if you're an alpha male, you have a statue of a lion outside your house. Oh, you have two. That go up the stairs. Like the ones, but the reason I don't like those is because they're also out of libraries. Nothing is as beta as a library. Books, get right. Did you say get right? Yeah, get right, books. What, what does that mean? Get right. Last one I have here is a big snake, but I also need to have my tongue pierced so I can kiss it open mouth. 
What does that mean? <laughs> You've never seen that? Kiss a snake? People that have snakes also have their tongue pierced. And so they can do like the... And like they do like the snake little... Why do they have to have their tongue pierced? I don't know. That's what they do. Like the rod? Like the ball. And the snake kisses the ball? You've never been to the Bronx and seen a Puerto Rican on Grand Concourse, Joey? Yeah. They all have snakes. They all have their tongue pierced. And they're kissing snakes outside of Yankee Stadium. Damn right they are, because that is what alphas do. They are not afraid of animals. We are the apex predator in our kingdom. Are you allowed to have a snake out? I think you can. Like, you could just hold a snake like Britney Spears? Yeah, I think you can. Why is the first place you went Britney Spears? Dude, she held that fucking yellow snake. Oh, that's right. That was a big... Bro, you it's know what? It's a fat snake! Anytime I think of snakes, I think of the skit in Jackass 2. Or was it Jackass 3D? Where they're in the ball pit and there's a snake in there. And oh. you see it bite on fucking Johnny Knoxville's arm. Dude, I, I'm not really afraid of snakes. Um, I don't mind them, but I, I, I don't want to be next to one. Yeah, I, like huge ones are scary because like once it starts wrapping around my foot, now I'm terrified. Yeah, well, not only are you terrified, you're dead. Uh, yeah. I accidentally stepped on a snake once walking on my college campus. Did I ever tell you I went to college? Yeah, you were an RA, right? Yeah, I was. Um, I was literally walking and I was wearing uh, flip flops and I stepped on something. I thought it was a stick and I looked down and it was wrapping around my foot. It was like a really small, skinny one, though. Oh my god! Yeah, but I was like, Wah! when I was when I was in Utah, we were on a hike. Espo, so <laughs> you know, I went to Utah. Yeah. Espo saw it first, and he like leapt in the air, and I, I felt like I a cartoon catched him. Yeah. And he was like, oh! And it was a snake. It was like this big. Where did you go? What's that that park called? Yukon National Park. Yukon. Oh, that? Zion. Zion. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. It's like Yukon. All right. What else can make me alpha male? Your favorite color? All right. There is three right answers. Fire red. Okay. Fist pumping orange. Okay. And cowboy brown. Cowboy brown makes sense. Because they're all very strong, powerful colors, which do not are, they are not subservient to other colors. I said blue. Very not beta out color. Very what? That is a beta color. Camo. Very good. <laughs> And then I just wrote USA. Mm -hmm. Like a USA print? Is that a color? I think. Red, white, and blue. I think. <laughs> I think. Red, white, and blue until the day I die. I bleed it. Yeah. All right. Let's just do this last one. A car. What's the most alpha car that you can have? Mm. The first one, obviously. Souped up Honda Civic. It feels... Asian. <laughs> Could Asians not be alpha males, Joel? What are you trying to say here? No, I'm just saying it sounds Asian. No, it sounds like very, like, fucking, like, first car. A souped-up Honda Civic. Yeah, bro. you never seen people with Honda Civics that are fucking low to the ground, and then you're they're like... Ding, ding, ding. And yeah. he's like, bro, you're just driving a Honda Civic. Yeah. And it's like, uh, the lights on the floor. The I lights. used to think that was the coolest thing in the world. Bro, I can't... I legitimately, legitimately said out loud... Two people, you included, that the cars that I made in Need for Speed Underground 2 were going to be the cars that I owned as an adult. <laughs> and that means a white, souped up Toyota Celica. That was, that was a good car. That was the best car in the game. That yeah. Was, that was. It was. I had a the Shelby, whatever that was. Shelby GT. And I had a fucking, I had blue lights on the bottom of it. She was fire. You want to play that game recently, like soon? Wait, which one are you talking about? Need for Speed Underground 2. You and I used to race I think it was all the time. Is that the one where you just get away from the cops? Uh, no, it's the one where it's like there's different races. There's like drag races. No, I know, but there's like you can there was like uh, an open world type of thing where you can just yes. drive around. Yes, yes, yes. I think yes, Underground yes. is the one I'm thinking of though. You're thinking of Underground where it was like Pursuit you might be talking about too. I'm talking no, Underground, underground, underground. 2. I'm talking about It was underground. the one with the Snoop Dogg song in it. The when he did the cover of Riders on the Storm. Yes. Yes, that's Need for Speed. Underground 2 Joey this was the cover I'm telling you I know this was the cover mm -hmm. Yeah That was a good game Great game Love that game Absolute fire uh, So I, that's what I said I said a souped up Honda Civic I said a Ford F-150 A big Muscly Fat Hunk of junk Yeah You know Yeah That, that Like Do you have like the thing on the back like on the ball hitch, you have the hanging testicles. Yes. You have to. 
Yes. Yeah. But you know what I saw the other day that I actually liked on the back of a car? It was like a minivan, and there was like a fake Buzz Lightyear holding a Woody. Damn. I was like, damn, that's fire. That is kind of fire. Also, stupid as shit, though. Don't have minivans. Yeah, too many too many stuff. Bro, minivans are expensive, dude. Are they? Bro, I remember when we were looking for a new car, we saw, like, we like I, like, paid attention to minivans because we were like, oh, we want a family car. Some with, like, starting MSRPs at, like, $60,000. Good gravy. Dude, a lot of money. Not cheap. But it's also because they're like super like safety rated and stuff. All right, my next. A Jeep on giant wheels. Ah, that's a good one. Because I need to be able to make it through any weather. And a regular Jeep can do that, but now I need big wheels. Right, yes. You know, Drive it right onto the beach. I need to, not only that, I need to be able to jump into my car by climbing onto a giant wheel that is probably very dirty. Dirty. <laughs> um, I wrote a Hummer. Bro, the have, smallest dick cars in the world. Have you ever been in a Hummer? Yes. They're very tiny in there. I've never been in a Hummer. They're really... From what I remember, the one I was in was years and years and years ago. Like, legitimately, like 2002. Who's Hummer? It was a, one of my dad's friends. Okay. His name was Roman. And there you go. Now you know him. I don't know him. And uh, I remember getting in the back, and it was like... Bro, it was like, if I was sitting like this, the roof was fucking here. So I had to like sit down oh, like that. it was that. like low? It was really, really low. Damn. Yeah. How low can you go? How low? All the way to the flow? How low? Can you bring it to the top? Like I never, oh. never stop, right? Yeah. Can you bring it to the top? One hop. Uh, uh, <laughs> the last one I said, Joey, is a candy-colored Lamborghini that wakes up sleeping idiot babies. Yeah. Is that, is that you're speaking from personal experience? I, I've, yeah. There was like a, a, there. I hate those cars. When you drive down a block and you wake up fucking sleeping kids, so stupid. Yeah. Also, listen, you like motorcycles, all the power to you. You know what's really stupid? This. Yeah. Bro. Dude, why do motorcycles are like this? This isn't cool. This is not like, you're not cool, guys. There's like, you got a leather jacket on with a bunch of rings and piercings in a jacket. But you look like, like a baby. I'll see you later. Yeah, they look like a baby, like, trying to, like, have their mom pick them up. They're like, pick me up. Bro, so stupid. How can you even hit the brakes up here? It's it really, really dumb. I hate that shit. I it's never... always like the old guy at the group, too. He's like, uh, get on my chopper. Yeah, and he drives away, to ch and it just sounds like this driving away. Huh? You know, like, he's just <laughs> fucking clapping down the road and shit like that. He's like, oh, yeah. Yeah, just get a motorcycle. Or is it, like the, come on. Yeah, there, that's right cool. Here. That's cool. Or, or get like a little sidecar. You ever been on a motorcycle? No, I wouldn't. I've been on two in my life. I, I've known... I am actively against motorcycles. And you want to know, one of them was a terrifying experience because my then girlfriend's dad drove me home on a motorcycle. Jesus. You know who it is. I do know who it is. Terrifying, dude. And I would trust le someone's first day on a motorcycle over here. Yeah, it was doubly... Oh, actually, I shouldn't say that. Never mind. Scary. Yeah. Um, but I... Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm completely against motorcycles. I, I don't... It's, I've known too many people who have died on them. Uh, I mean, I know for sure one. How many more? I mean, one is more too many, period. I think I know like four. Really? Yeah. You'll have to remind me after. I don't know if you know them. I know you know one of them. Yeah, I definitely know one. Um, but yeah. Uh, no, I my dad was always like he literally said to me, he's like, "I'll support you anything in life." So, guess what? spoiler didn't. Yeah. But I will not support you getting a motorcycle. Yeah, they're too they're too much. Also, I'm like a bitch with speed. Bro, I I'm afraid of going eighty in my car. I can't imagine doing that in the wind. Yeah, I definitely don't want my body out. Like I like I'll drive. I can drive eighty and feel whatever. If there's no cars around or anything, but like, I'm I'm scared, bro. Well, as the saying goes, it's not a matter of if you get in an accident. It's a matter of when. I guess it's true. That's what that's what they say. Yeah. So well, there you go. That's how you become an. Oh, alpha the last man. thing I wrote was something manual. I don't know. Guys love saying that they Bro, can drive they manual. Do. It's like they can drive stick. A lot of and and you know what's funny is I've heard from like women through life that like a man that could drive stick is like sexy. I don't get it. Why? What is sexy about this? What? <laughs> Hold on, I got a break. You just add a light, just jiggling the thing. Yeah. And also, it's not cool looking. It's just a stick in the middle of a car. Also, I I just like I I, I don't I don't wanna. There are certain advancements in human like 
Those, that wasn't an advancement, I don't think. That no, was like, but listen, there are certain advancements in human civilization that like they're way better than what we previously had. Automatic gear shift, yeah, way better, dude. Right. This whole like fucking, uh, you want to go twenty miles per an hour per hour, and you need to fucking, you know, play fucking plinko. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Yeah, no, I don't like that shit. But that's that's what you that's what you get, folks. If you want to be a fucking alpha male, that's what you do. We also had outfit. Oh, what was your outfit? My outfit was uh the the dress shirts that have different color collars. Okay, yeah, I know what you're talking about. A belt with a logo on it. Gucci. Fer- Ferragamo. Ferragamo. Your favorite, Balenciaga. Uh, <laughs> and then and then shoes that are spit shined by the pores. Can you say that again? Balenciaga. Say it in your normal voice. Balenciaga. Okay. Seriously? Say it one more time. <laughs> Balenciaga. Why are you saying that? <laughs> I'm serious. This is not a bit. I know. Balenciaga. Right. Why? That's not it. What is it then? Balenciaga. Oh, I didn't know that. You and I I'm so glad that you said that because there was a previous time where you had said it out there and I was like, I can't wait to fucking I cause I thought you were gonna say it on I the show. I most words with much aplomb. It's not very laborious, and I think Balenciaga is the way to go. Balenciaga. Yeah. You Shocking. really, you really, you know, going to bat and defending them here, huh? Balenciaga. Joey, good, for, good for you, Joey. You're no real, one's defending you're them. You're a real hero for Balenciaga. But it's not Balenciaga. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> Balenciaga. It's not balance. Do you know I always thought, you know the hats, the golf hats? What hats? You know the golf hats. What are the golf hats? The golf hats. I always thought it, it said titleist. Oh, titleist? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's just a brand. I know. I You're always... saying the golf hats. Like, they're the only ones. Well, they're like the brand Titleist. Nike. I didn't know Nike was like big in golf. Well, how could you say that? I don't watch golf. Tiger Woods. All he wears is Nike. Oh, I, I didn't know. I don't watch golf. I know Tiger Woods. How do you know Titleist? Because uh, I see the hats. Whatever. Balenciaga. Dads love Titleist hats. Yeah. And balls. Got a new Titleist. Yeah. <laughs> Good for you, bud. You ever been golfing? I've never done like... Like no. an 18? Like I just like, go to the like range Espo? and I fucking send them. Like Espo? Ah, oh, I got a 6 a.m. tea time tomorrow out in fucking Stony Brook. Yeah, I'm like... And it's like, whoa, that sucks. Cool. I'll be... At brunch. <laughs> <laughs> ah, good time. Uh, well, that's there you have it, folks. Uh, that's how to become an alpha male. Uh, enjoy if you'd like to be one. That's how you be one. And we would know because we are the most alpha of men. You know I'm what gonna an alpha t- male to me is, Joey? A man that's compassionate, listens, kind-hearted. <sighs> Gay. Uh, <laughs> I'm going <laughs> to... I'm gonna I'm gonna go take a hard shit. You, a loud you know what's one. funny? You told me previously in another episode we did that you never talk about when you take a shit. You're like, I never do that. That's all made up. Twice this episode. It, you no, know, you brought off the first. I, I was talking about someone else taking a shit. I'm done with you, bitch. Anyway, uh, thank you guys so much uh, for uh, joining the Patreon. Uh, we have over fourteen thousand now. We want you guys to keep joining, trying to hit number one on the site. Uh, Patreon.com slash the Basement Yard. Uh, go follow the show at the Basement Yard on TikTok and Instagram as well. And where can they find you? F Alvarez eighty eighty five on Twitter. The Frank Alvarez on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, uh, Cameo, all those places. And uh, yeah, Patreon. Yep. And that is all. See you guys next time. Yeah.